Let's now see what happened during impact. The specially designed compact engine moved the planned 150 mm rearwards before the crankshaft impacted the cross member near the bulkhead. The battery and the brake booster also moved to their predetermined positions. The subframe and other components in the engine bay disconnected and moved to their new positions underneath the car. Inside the car, the pedals, the restraint systems and other components did their jobs to help provide maximum occupant protection. The steering column, for example, deformed 140 millimeters, with the airbag still in the designed position. Everything was planned in detail during the development of the car to help the occupants survive this very severe crash. In a side impact, the distance between your chest and the colliding car is about 300 millimeters. So the question is, how can you best use this distance to help protect life? The safety cage in the new Volvo S40 was designed with a careful mix of steel grades in various strengths and thicknesses. The door and side structure is made up of a combination of ultra-high strength steel and softer grades to provide the necessary strength and carefully controlled deformation in a side impact. The interior trim panels are soft to the occupants and also provide the necessary support for the side airbags. The new generation of side airbags are of the same type as you will find in all Volvo cars. The seat mounted airbag provides the same type of protection for your chest, irrespective of seating position. The inflatable curtains covering both front and rear seats provide additional protection for the head and help keep the occupants inside the car. Both of them world firsts from Volvo. Finally, the more unknown but clever part, the Volvo seat, which is much more than something comfortable to sit on. It's also a very important part of the crash protection. In the Volvo seat, you'll find strong, rigid SIPS tubes. Their purpose is to help maintain the seating space after the crash. The SIPS tubes transfer the loads from the side of the car into the center of the car where you'll find another unique Volvo S40 feature, a steel box which is deformed by the loads transferred by the SIPS tubes. So, in a Volvo, there is actually one extra crumple zone in the center of the car. This feature helps transfer energy even in a high severity side impact like that with an SUV. Whiplash is a very common type of accident injury. Independent research has shown that Volvo's whiplash protection system is one of the most effective in the world. In the event of a rear impact collision, a wire framework in the front seats prevents the occupant from being pressed back. The seat slides back to absorb energy and upwards and forwards to embrace the back and neck. Finally, it tips back to avoid jolting the head.